If you create a lot of designs using Canva and you're using the free version, then this five features that I regularly use might make you change your mind to upgrade to the paid version. Let's get started. If you are new to Canva, do check out my YouTube channel. I have several videos that explain how to use Canva from a beginner to an advanced level. Let me state that this is not a sponsored video. I do use a pro version that was awarded to me as part of the Canva for Nonprofit initiative. If you work for a recognized nonprofit organization, you may be eligible for a pro account. Check the Canva page for more details. I will leave a link in the video description. The great thing about the nonprofit account is that it is awarded for a team. That is, up to 10 people can work as a team with the pro version, which is really amazing. Coming back to the topic, here are my five top reasons for using Canva Pro. Let's start with number five. Transparencies. Canva Pro provides one-touch background removal and support for transparent background. For example, I have created this design and I want to place the photo of the speaker here. Let me do that. Click one of the photos that I have already uploaded, resize it and move it to the right place. Now this photo has a background. What I would really love to do is just have the photo of the speaker without any of the distracting background. Using the Canva Pro, all I have to do is click on edit image, background remover and that's it. Other thing that the pro version supports is transparent backgrounds. Let's take the same photo, remove the background as before. Let me resize it. If I want to export this image with a transparent background that could be used in other projects, all I have to do is click on share. Next, click download and choose this option transparent background. You will notice that this feature is available only for the pro accounts. Transparent backgrounds can only be saved using this PNG format. Click on download. And now we have an image with a transparent background. Feature number four is the resize option. You can access this option by clicking on Canva Pro and select resize. Many times you may create a design in one format, let's say a square format. And later on, you want another version of that design. If you are using the free version, you'll have to create another design and then copy paste all the elements one by one. With the pro account, just click on resize, select the format that you want. Let's say I want to make it into a Facebook post, then click copy and resize. This will create another copy of this design, but meant for Facebook. As you can see, Canva has automatically rearranged all the elements. You may have to do some fine tuning and you have a different design. Reason number three is templates. Whenever you create a design and you would like to reuse this design, in future, you can save it as a template. You do that by clicking on the share button, click this button more, and then select template. Choose the folder in which the template should be saved. Click on the add button and then publish the template. Anytime you want to create a new design with your template, you can scroll down here, locate your templates, click on the template and select the option use this template. You can now make changes to this design and save it as a new design. Your original template will remain as it is. Templates are a great way to save a lot of time. Reason number two is one of my favorite reasons, the brand kit. When you have a pro account, you can manage your entire brand kit by coming here under brand kit. A brand kit essentially consists of logos, colors and fonts. If you work for multiple brands, you can maintain multiple brands within the same brand kit. Here I have created a brand kit for Toastmasters. I have loaded most of their logos here. I have defined the color palette and I have defined the brand fonts. You can upload a new logo by clicking on the plus sign. Similarly, if you want to define a new color, you can click here. You can also upload brand fonts by clicking on upload a font here and upload the brand fonts in your Canva Pro account. When you have a brand kit in your Pro account, life becomes a lot easy. To change the background of your design to one of the brand colors, click on the color wheel 
and you will see the brand colors on top here. You can just click on it and it will change to one of the brand colors. When you want to add any text, click on the text icon and the first three text elements are your brand fonts. Click on it and you have a brand font on your design. To add the logo, click on this option logos and all the brand logos are available at a click of a button. If you are working for an organization that has brand guidelines, the brand kit saves so much time. And finally, reason number one is the millions of free assets. Canva has millions of photos, videos, and even audio. You will be able to use some of these assets with your free account but most of them are tagged as pro. If you are subscribed to the pro account, you can use all of these assets without any problem. So those were the top five features that I find invaluable with the pro account. What about you? Do you have a Canva pro account? And if so, which pro features do you use regularly? Do leave a comment below. If you like this video, do like and subscribe because it motivates me to create more content like this.